member is sitting today to deliver judgment in the trial of three accused, Fatmir Limai, Haradine Bala and Ishaq Musliu. For the purposes of this hearing, the Chamber will summarise briefly its findings, emphasising that this is a summary only and that the only authoritative account of the Chamber's findings and of its reasons for those findings is to be found in the written judgment, copies of which will be made available to the parties at the conclusion of this sitting. The three accused, Fatmir Limai, Haradine Bala and Isaac Musliu, are indicted for crimes allegedly committed by them and other members of the Kosovo Liberation Army, the KLA, from May to around the 26th of July 1998 against Serbian civilians and Kosovo Albanian civilians who were perceived as Serbian collaborators in central Kosovo. The indictment alleges that at least 35 civilians were abducted by KLA forces, detained in a prison camp in the village of Lepushnik for prolonged periods of time under inhumane conditions and routinely subjected to assaults, beatings and torture. Fourteen named prisoners are alleged to have been murdered in the course of their detention. Another ten were allegedly executed in the nearby Berisha Mountains on or about the 26th of July 1998 when KLA forces were forced to abandon the village of Lepushnik and the prison camp under attack from advancing Serbian forces. All three accused are charged with eight counts of imprisonment, cruel treatment, inhumane acts and murder for their alleged participation in the crimes at the prison camp. Fatmir Limai and Haradine Bala are also charged with two further counts of murder for their alleged roles in the execution of detainees in the Berisha Mountains. <coughs> counts 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are charged as crimes against humanity under Article 5 of the statute. For the tribunal to have power to deal with crimes against humanity, it must first be proved by the prosecution that the alleged criminal conduct of the accused was part of a widespread or systematic attack directed against a civilian population. The Chamber has heard evidence of individual abductions, detention and mistreatment by KLA soldiers of both Serbian and Kosovo Albanian civilians between May and July 1998. It was not proved, however, that these acts were on a scale or of a nature necessary to constitute a widespread or systematic attack on a civilian population. It necessarily follows, therefore, 
that counts 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 must be dismissed with respect to all three accused. The written judgment sets out more fully the Chamber's reasons for this conclusion. In this summary, the Chamber will not discuss those counts any further. Counts 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are charged as war crimes under Article 3 of the Statute. This requires that the alleged criminal acts of the accused are committed in the course of an armed conflict. The Chamber has heard extensive evidence on this issue, including from expert witnesses, and is satisfied that before the end of May 1998, a state of armed conflict existed in Kosovo between Serbian forces and the KLA. <coughs> Count 2 alleges the offence of cruel treatment based on the unlawful seizure, unlawful detention and interrogation of Serbian and Kosovo Albanian civilians. The Chamber has come to the conclusion that, at least in the particular circumstances of this case, the mere acts of seizure, detention and interrogation in and of themselves have not been shown to constitute a serious attack on human dignity within the established meaning of cruel treatment under Article 3 of the Statute. Count 2, therefore, must also be dismissed with respect to all three accused. There remains, however, another charge of cruel treatment, Count 6, which relies on a much broader range of conduct than Count 2. This remains, and the Chamber will indicate its findings in respect of Count 6 shortly. It is also alleged in the indictment that in addition to direct personal involvement, the three accused are criminally responsible for the offences with which they are charged by virtue of their participation in a joint criminal enterprise. In the Chamber's finding, it has not been proved by the prosecution that there was a joint criminal enterprise involving any of the three accused. The central allegation in the prosecution case is that the KLA established a prison camp in a farm compound in the village of Lepushnik in central Kosovo in which it held mainly civilian prisoners of both Kosovo, Albanian and Serbian ethnicity between May and the end of July 1998. The existence of any such camp is denied by all three accused. The Chamber has heard a great deal of evidence about this issue especially from persons who said they had been detained there and from former KLA members. Having carefully considered all this evidence, the Chamber is entirely satisfied that the KLA did have a prison camp in the farm compound in Lepushnik as alleged by the prosecution and that in June and July 1998 
There were mainly civilian prisoners of both Albanian and Serbian ethnicity held in this prison camp. The evidence proves that the KLA were forced to abandon the prison camp on the 25th or 26th of July 1998 because Serbian armed forces were then advancing on Lopushnik, which was captured by the Serbian forces on the 26th of July. Uh, this evidence is considered in detail in the written judgment. The most serious charge concerning conduct at the prison camp is Count 8, which alleges that 14 identified civilian prisoners were murdered at the camp. Most of these 14 prisoners have not been heard of again by their families. Given the nature of the charges, it was necessary for the prosecution to establish that each of these was murdered at the camp or by KLA soldiers connected with the camp. There is no direct evidence as to what happened to most of these prisoners. In the circumstances for the reasons that are set out in the written judgment, the prosecution has only been able to prove by the available evidence that three prisoners were murdered at the camp. Count six of the indictment alleges that all the prisoners held in the prison camp were subjected to cruel treatment. Over 30 prisoners are alleged to have been detained. The identities of some of these are not known. The identities of some 27 have been established. Almost all of these have been proved to have been detained in either a very small basement storage room or in another very small room used as a cow shed. The evidence establishes that the conditions in each of these rooms were absolutely inhumane. There was at most times gross overcrowding. There was no provision for washing or toilet although after an initial period, one bucket was provided for use as a toilet in the storage room. This bucket was not regularly emptied so that it would overflow. The prisoners slept on the concrete floors or on some straw. Meals were provided at irregular intervals at times, days would pass without food. The food was eaten in the rooms. There was very little light or ventilation in the two rooms. The atmosphere was absolutely oppressive with heat and stench. On rare occasions, prisoners in the storage room were allowed fresh air for a short time at night. Many of the prisoners were tied by the hands or feet or both. Some were tied to other prisoners. In the cow shed, most prisoners were chained to the wall and unable to move from their position in the room. They were forced to soil themselves in their clothes. Many of the prisoners had been badly injured with broken limbs, bones or internal injuries. Others had been shot. No medical treatment of any kind was provided even though there was a doctor and a medical clinic in the village which was used by the KLA personnel. 
in the chamber's finding the detention of a prisoner in these conditions constituted the offence of cruel treatment. A few prisoners were held in other places in the farm compound. The evidence does not establish that the conditions in these other places were such as to constitute cruel treatment. <clears throat> in addition, there is a significant body of evidence which details individual acts of severe physical violence committed by various KLA members on individual prisoners. The evidence indicates that it was a regular occurrence for a prisoner to be blindfolded, tied and taken from the room at night by KLA soldiers who often wore hoods to hide their faces. The prisoners were then severely beaten or subjected to other extreme violence and later were returned to the detention room at times unconscious or in severe pain. The Chamber has dealt with this evidence in more detail in its judgment. From this evidence, the Chamber has identified in particular 12 incidents of this nature in which identified prisoners were the victims. In respect of each of these 12 incidents, the crime of cruel treatment has also been established by the prosecution. The Chamber is also satisfied that five prisoners were subjected to severe mental suffering caused when they witnessed other prisoners being beaten or were threatened with death at gunpoint or were forced to bury the injured and disfigured corpses of other prisoners. This conduct by KLA members has also been proved to constitute the offence of cruel treatment. Count four of the indictment charges the offence of torture. To prove the offence of torture, one element which the prosecution must establish is that the perpetrator mistreated the victim for a particular purpose. In this case, the purpose of obtaining a confession or information or to punish the victim. The evidence establishes four incidents involving identified victims in which the crime of torture has been established. Fatmir Limai and Haradine Bala are also charged in count 10 for their alleged participation in the execution of detainees from the prison camp in the Berisha Mountains. On the 25th or 26th of July, the remaining detainees at the prison camp, over 20 of them, were marched into the Berisha Mountains under armed KLA escort. In the mountains, over 20, I beg your pardon, in the mountains, about half of them were set free and allowed to leave. The others remained under KLA guard. The remains of nine bodies were later exhumed from graves located in this area of the Berisha Mountains. DNA examination confirmed the identity of eight of these bodies, 